with the Bee Brain modelling project, we're taking the first steps towards modelling the complete brain of an organism, the honey bee, and that really would be the first time that anyone has modelled the complete brain of any organism, in fact. The scientists at Sheffield University are on a mission to recreate a bee's brain on a computer. As you might have guessed, this isn't an easy thing to do. That's why they're starting with just one part of the brain, the part that lets the bee see. OK, stay with me here because this is where it gets even more mind-bending. Because the scientists have plugged this simulated bee brain into this drone. Yes, a computer simulation of a bee's brain is flying this aircraft. If I wasn't already sitting down, I would sit down. Bees and all other insects are really miracles of engineering, if you like, that we're nowhere near equaling. And if we could even reproduce a fraction of their abilities in a, in a robot system, then we'd have made a tremendous advance. The bee brain simulation is made up of thousands of virtual neurons, each represented by one of these coloured spheres. The way they're laid out and wired up is copied directly from real bees. And just like with a real bee brain, when the video from the drone's camera filters through these simulated neurons, this is what happens. If you look closely, you can see the chessboard pattern forming. Amazing. So you can see the activity builds up at first, and then as the robot takes off, there's a surge upwards. And then as the robot moves along the wall, you can see these, this checkerboard pattern appearing and moving. And then when it gets to the end of the wall, the robot lands. These models aren't yet as complex as the brains in real bees. At the moment, they can only track motion and not things like colour or shapes. But even though the virtual brain is a simplification, they can still do the same experiments that they do on real bees. Lots of uh, time has been spent training honeybees to fly down tunnels, and actually our model reproduces all of the behaviours that the real honeybees exhibit, and you can manipulate the flight behaviour of the model in the same way you can manipulate the flight behaviour of a real honeybee that's been trained to fly down a corridor. The team here aren't the only researchers looking to bees for inspiration. Colleagues in Sussex are also working on modelling the bees' sense of smell, and across the globe researchers at Harvard University are trying to create tiny bee-sized robots which they hope could eventually be used to pollinate our crops. So I think actually a lot of the, the ways in which bees behave and the, their brains work could have insights for us into how human brains do similar kinds of behaviours like learning, like decision making and so forth. Mapping an entire brain is still a long way off. But if we're ever going to understand our own brains, we'll have to understand the bees first.